Hello, Bright Souls. I'm back. <laughs> Alrighty, a lot has happened since the last time that I uh, did a video. Um, I am now a permanent resident of North Carolina. <laughs> we have completed the move and uh, we're living in a very beautiful um, townhouse community. And there's a small park nearby where uh, we walk our dogs. And uh, there's lots of uh, restaurants and uh, different businesses nearby. A lot of them are within walking distance. It's a very different um, lifestyle, but I'm liking it. I love the weather uh, in, uh, in uh, North Carolina compared to Florida. It's not as humid, and it, you know, even in the dead of summer, it's much, uh, much less humid. And so I love the weather, um, loving the area, and uh, you know this is the temporary, um, the temporary house until we uh, actually purchase our permanent home. Um, but so far I'm loving it, and uh, my new job is very stressful, very busy, um, putting in um, on average about 11-12 hours uh, at work. Um, and that's just the nature of the work that I do, you know, sometimes I'm going to be really stressed and really busy and other times it's going to be more of like a normal, you know, 40 hour, 45 hour work week, something like that. So, yeah, uh, I am feeling more settled now and uh, I have to tell you that we, we did sell our house, we did sell our house. Um, it was really nerve-wracking and, and stressful for a time there. Uh, so we, about maybe 10 years ago, we built um, a large, um, like, screened enclosure uh, for our pool. Well, we built the pool and then we, and then we added on or surrounded it by um, a screen enclosure, which is kind of typical at least for Central Florida, that's kind of typical. You have like a, um, you know, a patio and a pool and then it's all screened in. And of course everything was, you know, we hired professional contractors and companies and things like that. And, you know, they filed all of the county permits and all that sort of stuff. Well, <laughs> we got an offer on our home and um, we went to, they went to pull the title and found out that our home had a, um, our title wasn't clear and so we um, were all jammed up and we weren't going to be able to sell the house unless the title was clear uh, you know um, so we went back and forth with the county and they were like well you have an open permit and it never got completed and closed out properly and now it's expired so you're gonna have to reopen it and you know we're gonna have to send an inspector out there and you're gonna have to correct all of these issues and it was just, it was just really, the last two or three weeks was just hell. And um, luckily, my husband is really good about uh, being organized and filing paperwork and holding on to important paperwork. If it was me, <laughs> I'd have been in a real world of hurt. Uh, not that great with paperwork, but he is. And he was able to find that we did have a final um, on our uh, screen enclosure. The county had done the inspection and had approved it and had signed off on it and he was able to produce that paperwork. But even after that, the county still insisted on sending out an inspector, 10 years later, mind you, okay? Um, and they just, they were being real, Words I don't really want to express. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, just, I mean, just dragging us through the mud, just, you know, making the whole process so much. Um, they just killed the joy out of, you know, the news that we, oh my gosh, we have a buyer, we have someone who wants to buy the house, and the timing, you know, it was a quick offer. Um, you know, the house wasn't on the market very long before we got the offer. And, and actually, we got two offers, um, and they were both lower than we wanted. So we went back to each buyer and we said, "Listen, we have two offers, and um, please submit, you know, your best offer 
because that's the one we're going to go with. And so it was the actual sale itself and, and the showing of the house and everything. I'd never done anything like that before, and that was actually a pretty good experience. But then once we got the offer and we want to celebrate, you know, oh my gosh, we sold our home, you know, just in the nick of time, you know, we're not going to have to deal with this long distance thing, you know. No, the county jams us up. But God is good. And uh, everything did work out. And so we, we have sold our home. Uh, and the, the buyer wanted a quick closing, so we're done. We're closed and the house is theirs and we're done. And uh, now we're, we've moved and into this uh, small townhouse. And I thought I was downsizing in preparation for this, but I didn't do too good of a job, obviously, uh, with downsizing. We, we basically have, you know, boxes lining the hall and, and, you know, just from floor to ceiling, there are boxes and, uh, and uh, so, you know, we have a plan where we've, we've opened up a lot of boxes, we've pulled out the stuff that, that, you know, we need on a daily basis. And we're gonna try not to open up the other boxes and just leave them the way they are and um, you know, you know, just move them into our, our new home, our permanent home when we when we you know purchase that. So that's all exciting and very uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I, so what what have I been doing on a diet front? So um, I have been doing intermittent fasting. What I've been doing uh, uh, Monday through Friday, so what I've been doing is, you know, I'll have my liquids in the morning, you know, my coffee, my tea, that sort of thing, um, and I've been having peanuts for, uh, for, for lunch, like sometime after 12 o'clock, I'll have peanuts, and um, I, I did peanuts because all of the all natural and, and raw nuts and stuff that I had bought were were packed in a box and I couldn't find the box so um, I bought I bought peanuts and um, they're not the healthiest because they're not all natural and they're not raw they have like I think I checked it and they have like you know uh, sugar added to them and things like that so it's not the healthiest thing but once those are done I did find my my stash of raw nuts you know raw um, walnuts and um, almonds and things like that so I'll go back to that but the peanuts are gonna do for a while <laughs> uh, so that's kind of my lunch is I, I have peanuts and then um, for dinner uh, when I get home from work I have um, some evenings I eat pretty good I eat salad and other evenings I don't eat so good you know like um, last night I had a veggie pizza so diets not that great um, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back on track with my diet. Uh, hopefully in the next video, I'll be able to do like a reveal. Eh, maybe a reveal is not the right word, but basically I haven't taken my weight. I haven't done my measurements, right? I haven't measured my blood pressure or my weight or um, my blood sugar. I haven't done any of that for a while. And all that stuff's packed away somewhere in some box. I haven't found it yet. Um, so when I find that, I'm hoping to find that in time for the next video, but if not, whenever I find it, um, I'm going to go ahead and re record that as my, as my starting numbers and then just get back on track. I've been, um, and I may have mentioned this in the, in the last video, the supplements um, from uh, Dr. Morrison, from Dr. Berg, uh, you know, I'm not taking them, you know, like I should. So one day I'll take and the next day I won't or, you know, it's sort of like sporadic like that. So I need to get back on track with that, taking those regularly, my supplements and, and my, uh, my herbs, things like that. Um, so yeah, I am looking forward to planning out my, my meals. One of the things, I want to stay with the, with the um, intermittent, intermittent fasting that I'm doing. I want to stay with that. Um, and just have like some sort of raw nuts or you know beans or a salad or something something small for lunch and then and then my big dinner you know my big healthy dinner um, 
I really want to strive to eliminate wheat products and also dairy um, and a lot of the starchy vegetables I love my potatoes <laughs> but I really want to limit or, or um, you know keep to a, a smaller portion size if you will those types of things and really focus on um, healthy fats healthy proteins um, vegetables and fruits um, with my supplements with my intermittent fasting with my walking um, and just you know just get back on on track uh, I I'm sure my blood sugar is probably all over the place um, because you know one day I'm eating healthy and the next day I'm not uh, but I want to get that under control and I had come close to achieving normal uh, blood sugars but I hadn't made it so this time around um, I'm hoping that I can make it into the normal range and then stay there um, by changing my eating habits you know we were we did our grocery shopping I just got home from that and in the checkout line you know there's this row of like um, candy bars and normally that would be very tempting for me and so I looked at them this time and I said you know junk it's not good for my body um, I if I spend money on that one I'm putting junk in my body and I'm hurting my body I'm hurting my health and two I'm making a company richer who puts products on the market that destroys people's health so do I really want to give them my money uh, and do I really want to put food in my body that's going to damage my health you know and so it's like little thoughts like that are a big change for me and uh, you know normally in that checkout line it would be like oh boy I really want that Snickers oh that's really tempting oh look at those you know peanut M&Ms oh look at the baby Ruth oh look at the you know <laughs> so um, every time what I'm learning is every time I take a step back or every time I fall or every time I fall off the wagon um, I retain some good positive change and so I just need to get back up and keep moving forward and you know the good changes are sticking they are sticking and so little by little change by change you know um, I'm moving forward and I'm moving in the right direction and I'm really pleased about that really pleased about that so stay tuned for the next video hopefully it'll be the the measurements video but if not um, I'll just update you on on you know I'm, I'm back on track and here's what I'm doing and um, I do want to say one other thing with the intermittent fasting and the peanuts right I know some of you might think oh peanuts they're not really nuts and you know are they really healthy and that sort of thing they are low sodium they do have a little bit of salt on them but like I said they're not they were just a quick fix for me um, but they're not the long-term goal but I do want to say this I have noticed that I have a lot more energy. So the typical thing I would experience um, for years and probably decades and probably as far back as I can remember is the afternoon lows. And by the time I get home, I am exhausted. I have no mental energy, no physical energy. I am just tired all the way around. And with the intermittent fasting and the peanuts, maybe just the fasting or it may be a combination of the fasting and the peanuts I'm not really sure but I'm not experiencing the afternoon lows I'm not experiencing those dips I am I am happy and I have energy I don't feel you know just knocked flat off my feet tired uh, when I get home and so that's been a really positive change and um, I'm really happy about that and I do think it's because uh, of the the fasting and the um, the nice thing about the peanuts even though they're not the healthiest is they're not they're not spiking my blood sugar you know they're not I'm not crashing during the day um, they are keeping me satisfied and um, the, you know they're, they're low sugar basically so um, that that's making me feel pretty good and then, um, like I said, in the evenings, you know, some days are good, some days are not. 
and I definitely feel it like if I have a lot of junk um, it's like after dinner I'm like <laughs> you know, that's, that's how it is after dinner I'm like oh, I'm ready to go to bed I mean you know work is stressful and I'm tired and and you know by the time I get home you know it's there's not a lot of time between that and going to bed and then waking up and doing it all over again um, so you know at the end of the day I think it's okay to be tired <laughs> but um, I notice the difference when I eat good and when I don't eat good that's the point I'm trying to make long ways around anyway um, until next time have a fantastic day week uh, and I will uh, chat with you then bye